I have recreated almost 20 Monster High dolls in The Sims 4 and so far I haven't created any monsters. And the reason why is because, well, I suck at making male Sims. So today I'm challenging myself to recreate five Monster High male characters in The Sims 4. I'm going to be creating some of the most requested male characters from the Monster High series. It is February so I had to go for a Valentine's Day theme for this Create a Sim video. If it is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking my video. My name is Peachy Senpai and I love all things cozy but mostly Sims 4 right now. The first character I will be creating is Hadood Voodoo. He is known for his kind soul, but is a little bit melodramatic. His main concern in life is to be loved by Frankie, but he pursues it passively rather than actively. As a voodoo doll, he doesn't experience physical pain, but passes it on to those near him. The pain that he should feel is normally passed to those closest to him, or it is passed to those whose personal belongings he might be holding. Hadood is very clumsy, but is always ready to help out, especially in those he recognizes his own troubles in. And I think that just means that even though he is a voodoo doll, he still has a little bit of life in him. Now for Hadood, I really wanted to give him a of course a voodoo doll look but I wanted to go more of a Valentine's Day route which I said earlier. So for his needles and for his button eyes I used specific CC that I've been having and haven't gotten to use so I'm really glad that I was able to use it today and I also gave him his typical stitch marking and I also wanted to give him more color in his body but it wasn't working with the CC that I had available to me so I just used a little bit of arm blushing or like arm coloration if that's what you want to call it. You guys will see that I chose heart shaped buttons for his eyes instead of regular stitch buttons and for his needles you guys will also see what I used instead of needles. If it's on the thumbnail then you guys will have seen it. For his outfit I wanted to give him something simple. Of course I couldn't just give him a t-shirt because although he's a voodoo doll he's still in high school and I can't just have my Sims walking around here without pants. So I had to give him pants and I gave him more of like a very chill kind of uh, relaxed look for his outfit. I don't have a whole lot of male CC as far as clothes and well anything really. Um, so I did my very best to make Hadood in his fashion. He just kind of seems like the kind of shy guy but he has a little bit of style to him. For his hair, I didn't have anything that looked like his hair. It kind of looks like his hair is made out of like strips of fabric considering he's a voodoo doll. And I didn't have anything that looked similar so I gave him this cute little shaggy hair that I downloaded pretty recently actually. I'm thinking about doing a couple of CC showcase videos for you guys to show you my favorites for December and January since I've already gotten done with uh, those folders and organized them to be in a folder for each month. Um, but as you guys can see for the accessories I chose these little cute love syringes or heart shaped syringes and I think it was just a nice touch for the Valentine's Day theme that I was going for for this video. I think he came out really really cute. I gave him kind of like this shy but like bad boy vibe to him with the earrings and I think he came out really cute. I haven't made a male sim in a very long time so for me to be able to do what I did and also you know still include like his looks and a little bit of his personality which is like love me Frankie you know what I mean but anyway I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> This is how he came out. I hope you guys like him. Next, I'm going to be making Claude Wolf. He was one of the more popular ones, of course. I just feel like him being sister, sisters, <laughs> being Claudine's brother. I feel like he's just one of the more popular Monster High characters when it comes to the male characters or the monsters, whatever you guys want to call them. Um, and I think he came out really good. I'm probably going to get a little bit of hate for the hairstyle I gave him. And to be honest, it's okay. It's my sim. You guys don't have to play with him or you can change his hair. But it was really hard for me to figure out what kind of hair to give this man or this boy. He's a high school boy. But anyway, I wanted to give him a very tall, muscular look, um, very scruffy very hairy because he is a werewolf um, and I think I did a really good job of putting that into this sim. Claude is friendly, outgoing, and kind to others especially his girlfriend Draculara. He's a loyal friend and natural leader acting as the captain of several sports teams including basketball, track and field, and football. Although he doesn't always seem to show it he does have manners and makes it a point to make sure the other boys have manners as well. So basically he is definitely a good leader, he's a good person, he's a great guy, and hopefully a great boyfriend to Draculara. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have a picture of my inspiration on the side so you guys can see where my vision came from as always. So I wanted to give him of course a sporty look and 
I decided that a basketball jersey and shorts would be a great fit. I definitely wanted to cover up his ears uh, so that I can give him his wolf ears. So that is why I chose the hairstyle that I did. You guys will see that in a bit. But he started to look very like blockhead and I definitely wanted to tone that down a little bit because I already gave him like the little furrow brow thing, make it look like he's raising his eyebrow at you. So I wanted to give him a little more of a laid back, relaxed look, which is why I gave him the hairstyle I did again. This is my Sam, guys. If you don't like him, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> But if you do like him, let me know down in the comments how you think he came out. I think overall, he's a very handsome Sam and I didn't have very many options that looked super similar to his hairstyle. So that is why I did download a few new CC items for this particular creative Sam, just to make sure that I was able to accurately depict each character's style and personality with their clothing. And I think it came out really cute. I really like his shoes, actually. I haven't, it's been a really long time since I made a male Sam, probably over a year or two so i was really surprised at you know the quality of the cc that i had for my male sims and i really liked his shoes they came out super cute i gave all of my male sims like little short uncurled eyelashes um just to make their eyes look more complete because i did forget eyelashes for one person and you guys may catch it but you may not i did end up making him really tall with my um lumia height body preset so i made him muscular and all that and then i made him really tall so like his body preset was probably an ea preset and then i just added body details and stuff like that to make him look really tall and muscular um but this is how claude came out i think he's really handsome next i'm going to be making deuce gorgon and he was also one of the sims who was highly requested amongst all the others um again i do my very best to get to each and every one of these sims as quickly as i can there are so many of them and of course i love making them but i will be taking breaks in between each creative sim every other monday or so i will be doing a monster high creative sim because monster high mondays and any other day in the week i will be posting other videos if you guys are enjoying this creative sim so far go ahead and like comment and subscribe and let me know down in the comments who is your favorite male character in monster high and why so deuce is really popular amongst his peers because he is very outgoing and friendly he's always welcoming to new students like frankie on her first day and jackson jekyll at lunch who is an outcast he's confident and easygoing and he loves sports which is why he's the captain of the basketball team or basketball. i thought it was claude but I guess not. Maybe one of them is a co-captain and they just don't want to admit it. Who knows? <laughs> he loves cooking, though he tries to hide it. And he is very devoted to his friend Cleo Denial, whom I think he used to date, if I'm not mistaken. But they broke up. But apparently he puts up with her bad behavior with Grace. Because she is royalty, she's pretty spoiled, pretty bratty. But he's able to deal with that pretty well. Deuce also has a passion for sculpting because of his mom's love of ancient art. So Deuce's hair really threw me off for majority of the creative sim but i've had this hair for so long i really wanted to use it and i thought this is the perfect opportunity to create deuce so i gave him this snake hair and i did try other hairs like locks and other things uh mohawks and stuff like that to see if they would work but it really didn't give the effect that he had snakes in his hair so i went ahead and used the hair that i'm pretty sure was made for him other than that his style was a little bit difficult at first but i eventually came to a conclusion that he looks like the kind of guy who is a skater boy he he has like of piercings and stuff like that and his snake tattoo kind of make it seems like he's a little bit of a bad boy he's a little bit edgy and for his outfit i wanted to give him a little bit of like tech wear or street wear and i think he came out really nicely i ended up making him tall as well because in his description he was tall and handsome just like claude so i made him tall and it gave him a little bit of like a lean muscle look the shades were hard for me because i didn't really have shades i'm used to using eyelashes or face accessories so I had to use a pair of shades that was for feminine frame, but they ended up looking fine on him. They do kind of look like glasses still, so maybe before I upload him, I will be changing his glasses to shades, but we shall see. Also for Claude, I wanted to give him a uh, werewolf fangs, but I didn't make him a werewolf so or a vampire, so the teeth were not available to me, but I will be making those teeth available for every category so that I could put them on any kind of sim. Again, it's really hard for me to make male sims because I don't make them, but I think if I have a little bit of inspiration, Inspiration, I'm able to you know pick presets and adjust faces and stuff to create like a pretty good looking male sim. I think Deuce came out really good. He looks really cute and he looks so good really really tall. So I hope you guys like Deuce as well. Next I'm going to be making Kieran Valentine and I saved these two sims for last because these two sims actually have a crush on each other or it's 
one of them has a crush on the other anyway so valentine is known to be mischievous and known to use his quick thinking and elusive facade to his advantage like most vampires he is very arrogant and aristocratic and a suave romantic he uses his charm for his sly schemes while hiding his true intentions to fill his victims hearts with love energy for harvesting which he uses to strengthen his power over time, he has collected a literal collection of broken hearts, which he displays in his matching coffin-shaped cabinets. He does eventually express guilt and a little bit of remorse for his actions caused by his persona in his diary, stating self-hatred as the reason why he refused to allow himself to be genuine. That is very sad. But let's just say he's learning and he's trying to heal himself and love himself. And in turn, he is so filled with love that he is loving other people. Like the last character I'll be making, but in a little bit. So Karen ended up looking very Asian in nature. Um, I was trying my best to get his eyelid shape from a very specific picture and I just ended up giving him a monolid, which there's nothing wrong with that. He's still very handsome. I don't think his race or ethnicity or anything like that was specifically stated, but I think he's a very cute sim. Of course, I gave him a very old school interview with a vampire attire because that is what he wears. I gave him deep red colors and bright whites with ruffles on his sleeves and his, I think it's called an mascot I'm not sure um and then I gave him leather pants because I said he wore tight leather pants but again that's from the wiki I've never seen the show or anything and I've never owned any of the dolls so I wouldn't know his exact attire but leather pants it is and then for the Valentine's Day theme I gave him a heart accessory around his sim and I think it looks really good with the aesthetic that I was going for and last but not least I'm going to be making a Spelden 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 Cauldronello that is a really hard name for me to say I don't know why but it is. Selden didn't have any kind of personality description or anything. All I know is that he is the daughter of Cersei, aka the younger brother of Costa Fierce, which means he's a spellcaster, he's a wizard, he's a witch, whatever you guys want to call him. I'm not really sure of the specific name. Again, I gave a couple of these Sims Valentine's Day themed accessories or like crazy Sim items, and for Spelden, I gave him a heart shaped eyebrow preset and this was actually an accident because I was just looking for the cut in the eyebrow and I ended up finding these eyebrows. I'm so thankful because it's so cute and I think it makes his character look just so adorable. I'm glad that he came out like a cute little pretty boy. It's adorable. Um, I also made him pretty short or kept him the same height. I just thought it was fitting that he was a little bit shorter. His character for the picture I used looked pretty short so I kept him short. For his hair, I didn't have any ombre hairs that were mohawk-like or spiky so I just went with a basic hair that I have been having and made it black and gray so that it made it look like he had that white spikiness going on um at first I didn't know what to do for his outfit because I didn't have anything like that like I didn't have anything kind of goth or alt for any of my male sims so at first I wanted to give him more of a fantasy look or spellcaster look and that really didn't quite fit him or his style so I altered I altered Oh, I opted for something more down to earth and I did have to give him a little shirt underneath of his other shirt which you guys will see in a second because again we're in high school we're not wearing shirts with our chest out okay but yes I gave him ripped jeans and a chain on his pants which accurately matched the picture that I used for inspiration and I gave him some cute little tennis shoes that matched his favorite colors which are purple and orange that's about all of the information I have about him besides he has a crush on Karen Valentine which I think is adorable if you guys enjoyed the video then like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload and head to the patreon link to download these sims if you're interested they will be in early access for the first couple of weeks but after that they will be free to the public i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye